Welcome back to Why Do We Really on Speeder TV. Today we're looking at two characters from one of my favorite movies of the early 2000s that doesn't have Spider-Man in it, right? Lilo and Stitch, the movie and the characters. Lilo, Pelikai, and Stitch, Experiment 626, I guess that's his last name. Well, to begin with, a big part of why we relate to them is why they relate to each other. And for once, I don't think I'm going to talk about the two characters separately. The biggest common trait between them is feelings of alienation and aloneness. Lilo gets teased by the kids her age, we know her parents died. The only person really around for her is her sister, Nani, but she can't really hang around too much. She has to work, she has to be able to provide for her and her younger sister. And of course, Nani's in a relationship with David, which makes Lilo just sort of on her own in a lot of ways. And that's why it was so good for her to be able to adopt this weird blue dog she found. But of course, Stitch is not a dog, but an escaped alien experiment. And that makes him on his own in a lot of ways. And he does have his own very human-like emotions, so he can feel all of that too. He's at least as much of a friend as he is a pet. Lilo and Stitch, before they find each other, are very much alone and lost. In fact, Lilo's name literally means lost in Hawaiian. And this is definitely something a lot of kids and older people even can relate to. Maybe you're bullied like Lilo. Maybe you've lost your parents or one parent or some other very close family members. Maybe there's a big age gap between you and your siblings, or you just don't get to hang out like you want to. Or maybe you don't have any siblings like I don't. Any number of these things can make you feel alone or lost. So Lilo's very understandable for pretty much people of all ages. And you can see that she doesn't really know how to deal with it fully. You know, she acts out a few times, not a whole bunch, but there's clearly frustration and anger built up in her. And it's really similar with Stitch, where you might feel alone because you had to escape something, or you had to get away from somewhere. That's the same thing. Or you might feel just really different from everybody. You might feel like an alien yourself. You might not know how to deal with your environment and your circumstances. You know, Stitch has no real sense of decorum. He doesn't know how to act. And you might be just really socially awkward. Maybe you can relate to Stitch because of that. But for their own reasons, Lilo and Stitch are both very lost and on their own. But then they find each other. And then it's like they're slowly, individually stitched back up and then stitched to each other. Which is sort of the point of the movie. And then you can really relate to the closeness that they feel once they have found each other, you know, as friends, or even just as a person and a pet. Like for me, I found a dog. My whole family just happened to find a dog on the corner of our street. And I'd really wanted a dog. And like I said earlier, I am an only child, so you know I needed something somebody around, you know. And when I was 11, we found one. And for the last 12 years, he's been one of my best friends in a way. Over half my life, jeez. So I can personally really understand why even non-human companionship can be a really big deal for somebody. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you like it or dislike it if you dislike it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Why you relate to either one of these characters or both of them together. And maybe who you relate to more. That's probably going to be a poll up in the corner if I remember. And subscribe! I'm getting really close to 100 now. And once I hit that, I have a surprise uh, that'll be coming out the day after the next Why Do We Relate. So, uh, see you next week!